I think it's really good to get feedback. I think it's a really good thing. I think we should be connecting with other authors and getting feedback, of course, but man, when I see an author post the first draft of a book description in a Facebook group, I start to get worried. <laughs> I worry that uh, maybe this author, if, if you've done that, I worry that you aren't gonna get good advice. I, I worry that you're gonna open things up to the peanut gallery and then they are going to steer you wrong. I worry that you're gonna get uh, contradictory advice. I love this line, I hate this line. I worry about all that. And what I think is you need to have a really solid blurb already in a way. You need to actually kind of go through the process of making sure every line is as good as it can be. You need to go through the process, making sure it's not just a summary, but it's the character's emotional journey. You need to make sure that you have looked it over for editing and you've worked on it relentlessly. And then you probably want to throw it to an editor first, not even necessarily a Facebook group. Look, if someone's already editing an 80,000 word book, they can go and edit your 300 word description, they're probably not gonna pay you very, uh, they're not gonna cost very much <laughs> if they do that. So there are steps to take before you post it in that group. I know that it's, and when you even do post it in a group, make sure to take every comment with a grain of salt. So go out there, be smart with your blurbs, be kind to your blurbs from a blurb guy himself. Thank you.